And boys, we are back here with another video. Today, we're going to be talking all about offensive line. And we're going to be talking about each and every single one of the ratings that really matter, whether it's pass blocking, run blocking, so on like that, so you can build the offensive line. Now, for each position, we're going to have uh, maybe around three options. Some of them are going to stay the same, but we'll have the best run blocker, the best pass blocker, and of course, the best balance. Now, before we get into the video, I do want to talk about our sponsor, MMO EXP. If you want these cards, we go over in the video. Instead of getting scammed by these trash packs make sure to head over to the description and use code dilla checkout to buy coins instead so let's just get it started right here at left tackle now the first card we're going to go over at left tackle is going to be a run blocker now when you're looking at run block right let's just use will campbell as an example okay so some rings you might see when it comes to run blocking right obviously we have base run block they added run block power run block finesse lead block and impact blocking all have things to do with the run game and you can also factor in weight so on like that all of that is a part of the run game now, out of that bunch, what stats matter the most? To me, it's just the base run block. Now, when we talk about lead block and impact blocking, a lot of like the impact blocking is his his effectiveness versus like CBs and stuff like that. And that goes for every single one. I don't think the lead block impact blocking is like the most important thing. It's base run block. So run block power, run block finesse really don't do anything. Base run block goes against the defender's block shed rating. Run block power, run block finesse are honestly just there to boost up his overall. On the field, you could make it to where run block finesse and run block power are both zero and you will see the same exact results with 83 run block okay and also with these cards too we're not going to really talk about abilities today because I don't really think you need any. I mean, there, there's some that are good, like quick drop actually isn't bad. And hopefully we're not gonna need these like crazy abilities for our linemen to actually play, but quick drop isn't bad, you can run that now. But like I said, base run block, most important rating. Now, when we look at these cards, we can flip them over with the right stick and we can take a look ourselves who has the highest run block rating. And out the bunch right here, it is actually Marquez uh, Cox right here from Kentucky. So this card is six foot five, 311, and he has 84 run block with 84 impact block 82 lead block again the lead block impact blocking might be a little bit lower than will campbell but again i want the highest run block rating possible so marquez cox is going to be our run blocking left tackle now again we're going to use will campbell as an example we're going to be talking about a pass protecting left tackle so when you look at the card again some ratings you might see pass block power pass block finesse and also just regular pass block so this time it's flipped regular pass block really doesn't do anything but the pass block power works against the defender's power move rating and pass block finesse works against the defender's finesse move rating so you're gonna want a good balance of each so like i said we're just looking for pass block power and pass block finesse and really there was two that were pretty much the same one had higher pass block finesse one had higher pass block power that's gonna be wyatt uh millum right here from west virginia he has 84 pass block power with 85 pass block finesse now obviously his run block isn't there he's an all-out pass protector six foot six 317 as well and joining him for our pass protector is gonna be jack nelson too he has 85 pass block power so one higher pass block power one lower pass block finesse net even you know what i'm saying also six foot seven three twelve comparing the two i'd probably just go wyatt because he's a little bit faster like he had 72 speed but i mean it's a bare minimum difference and now rounding out our group right here of course we're gonna have a balanced option now the best balance of the bunch that is including pass block power pass block finesse and regular run block it is gonna be will campbell this time who is the highest overall wasn't the best technically at anything this time he has 86 pass block power 82 pass block finesse and 84 run block and if we just take a look across the board a lot of these top men left tackles are the higher overalls where either lower from a run blocking standpoint just didn't have the the best balance like marquez cox right here will campbell's balance was a little bit better and yeah so that's going to be our left tackle position now let's go over to left guard right here so we're going to go ahead and start off again with the run block so run blocking lineup right here we're looking for the player with the highest run block rating and for a while I was like, damn, these cards kind of have a little bit lower run block, but it's actually going to be Justin Mayers right here for us. 84 overall left guard from Colorado, and he has 83 run block, and he's also six foot four, 320. But again, 83 run block was just the highest that we saw at this position. Now, besides Justin Mayers, of course, we have to talk about a pure pass protector, and of course, that's going to be Cody O'Connell, 86 overall right here. He is six foot nine, 352, six foot nine, kind of crazy at left guard. But yeah, besides that, he has 86 pass block finesse with 85 pass block power. 
just the best balance out the bunch we're going to get. But what hurts him is the 78 run block. So for our balanced left guard, this is again comboing pass walk power, pass walk finesse, and regular run block. It's going to be neither of them. It's actually going to be left guard right here, Logan Parr from SMU. This is a card that is six foot four, three fourteen, with 85 pass walk finesse, 84 pass walk power, and 82 run block. And just across the board, like just again had the best balance. Like he can run block, he can pass block. Justin Mayers as well was pretty uh, balanced across the board as well with 84 pass block power, 83 pass block finesse, 83 run block. I would say for me, it was like 1A, 1B with uh, Justin Mayers and Logan Parr. Now, after that, we get to center and center is by far and away the easiest one because they drop the best center as like a field pass card. Technically, like they say he's a part of the field pass promo, but this is a card only obtainable through packs or the auction block. Going to be Jonah Monheim right here. And he just has 88 pass block power, which really like helps him because for the most part on these cards, right? They're not going to have a rating that is higher than their overall and i think that's true with this card as well i don't think he has anything that's like an 89 yeah it's like all 88 so this card again 88 pass block power 84 pass block finesse with 85 run blocks had the highest run block had the highest balance of pass block power pass block finesse and run block he's just overall the best center and also come with that with the fact that you can put abilities on him if you didn't want to yeah he's just it's not even close jo jonah monheim best center and all right now we're going to be moving to right guard right here so right guard again starting off with the run blocker again looking for the highest run block rating and if we look across the board it is going to go ahead and be drew moss from colorado state so what i think is kind of interesting is he is a pass protector arc but has higher run block like he has 85 run block and he's six foot four 305 again 85 run block other stats you might be interested in uh 84 impact blocking 84 lead block as well just all the way across the board extremely extremely balanced in the run game 84 strength as well they said this card really really nice now when we talk about the pass protecting right guard though that is going to be brandon sheriff right here this is a card that has 85 pass block power with 85 pass block finesse so again some of the highest pass block power pass block finesse combo we're gonna see the weakness of this card of course is the 77 run block like doesn't hit 80 for run block so not gonna be our balance option our balance option so after i finished my initial recording we also got ben powers as well here at right guard that i do want to talk about so ben powers is actually kind of interesting too because he can also fit as the best run blocker with drew moss and uh i'm probably going to cut out the fact that drew moss and brian stevens at right guard in the catalog were going to be my best for a balance for the right guard spot but however this card is technically more balanced but it's kind of weird so he's 86 pass block finesse 85 run block and 83 pass block power again the best balance of stats we've seen so far even though the pass block power is kind of seems lower i know it's probably just because it's like the yellow rating or whatever but uh compared to potentially brian stevens drew moss both had 84 84 and 85 for either a pass block power or a run block so ben powers does fit here as the best balance but also the best run blocker too did want to go over him and now let's round out the offensive line with right tackle so the right tackle run blocking wise there was a slight little tie i guess because we do have um francis right here from Miami and we also have Emory Jones both with 85 run block so both of them can be in the lineup we have Francis right here Miami 85 strength 6 foot 6 315 and he has 85 run block and other stats you might be interested in 84 impact blocking 81 lead block now when we look at Emory Jones right here Emory Jones this time again 85 run block this time he has 83 impact blocking 84 lead block so slightly better impact blocking and lead blocking but again same run block so I think you're gonna see the same things from both of them and again another interesting card where it's like okay he has better um run block than pass blocking and they gave him the pass protector arc but now we're going to talk about pass pro and also balance because it's going to be the same card and it's going to be jonah right here from arizona this right tackle card right here and he is six foot five 330 with 85 pass block power 85 pass block finesse best balance you'll get at the right tackle spot right now and 84 run block now when we look at his other ratings 82 impact blocking 80 lead block i think his core ratings of like the pass block power pass block finesse and run block matter more than that and that's why he's going to be my best balance right tackle and also the best pass pro and also at right tackle similar to what i said about ben powers after i initially recorded both ben powers and andrew thomas got revealed now andrew thomas is someone that guess what he can actually fit the run blocker for the right tackle with 85 run block however that pass block finesse is what really hurts him and that's what makes me not really that big of a fan of the card so that's why 
I would potentially say to avoid this card. Um, I like the Arizona right tackle a lot more. Now there is one more card I want to talk about that isn't an offensive lineman, but he's actually like kind of rare. Let me find him real quick. He is a tight end. And I just want to talk about Mason Tharp right here. When we look at the tight end position, okay, let's just, let's just do like a quick overview. We already ranked the best tight ends, but some of the highest tight ends in the game, 72 run block. And if they don't have the run block listed, probably not going to be too good at it. 74 run block from Mason Taylor. 71 from Luke. Loveland, not really too much of a run blocker. Luke Hayes has 70 run block. And pretty much what I'm trying to say is there's some pretty low run blocks across the board, right? There's this card right here, Mason Tharp, where... If you really want to tote the rock, he might be tight in one for you because this is a card, 78 speed, not really too fast, but he has 80 run block. I believe he's the only tight end in the game with 80 run block, and he's six foot nine, 270 as well. He is a beast in the blocking game, and I felt like I should have covered him because he is just kind of unique in the game right now, and he's really the, he's actually like a pure blocking tight end. So yeah, you can probably get a little bit nasty with how you use him, and yeah, boys, this has been my thoughts on the offensive line, and I guess a little bit of tight end right here, uh, position in College Football 25 Ultimate Team. Hopefully, I was able to help you guys. We'll eventually update this again, but this was just something I wanted to go over because I get a ton of questions about what ratings matter for offensive lineman and again pass block power pass block finesse regular run block and i wanted to go a little bit more in depth than just our best lineup video because there's obviously different schemes some of y'all will just want the pass protector some of y'all will just want the run blocker and then you some of y'all will want the balance so hopefully i was able to help you guys today if i was make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more college football ultimate team content just like this we're going to be doing videos like this going over the best things at every position individual positional tier lists of course and also some fire gameplays as well so if that sounds good to y'all again make sure to leave a like and subscribe now if you guys do want to go ahead and see me use some of these cards live on stream i've been streaming every single day here on youtube and twitch to watch on the youtube make sure to hit that noti bell as well you'll be notified every time i upload or go live here or if you want to watch on the twitch check the links in the description hit that twitch with a follow but if you guys do want another video to watch check out this one right here